All right, back for another beer review, and today I will once again be reviewing another collaboration beer, this time between the other half brewing company out of both Brooklyn and Rochester, New York, along with the Finback Brewery, also out of Brooklyn, New York, and this is their Tropical Crumble. So they are calling this a sour Imperial India Pale Ale that is brewed with kefir lime leaves, pineapple, toasted coconut, toasted macadamia nuts, Graham cracker, Madagascar vanilla beans, and lactose. Comes in at 7.4% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in time of review. This can is exactly eight days old. All right, they're going for a tropical crumble slash crisp dessert, but there are a lot, and I mean a lot of adjuncts in this one. Most of them I highly enjoy. And other half and Finback, two of my favorite uh, New York State breweries. Both of them I highly enjoy, thoroughly enjoy. Finback has been killing it over the past year for me. Another half is other half. You guys, I don't have to say anything. You guys know about other half. Uh, settle down here, Gilbert. But yeah, this one sounds really interesting. I've not had a sour IPA from other half. Uh, Hudson Valley, to me, are the kings of sour IPAs. And I'm hoping that this one kind of comes off as a tropical crumble. I hope so, anyway. There is a lot of moving parts, a lot of adjuncts in here, so we have no idea. Hmm. So, this is pouring out like a, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, it kind of looks like a New England style IPA. It's not as turbid. When I was pouring it, definitely not as turbid. But it has like this yellow-orange color. Uh, definitely, there is some haze there. About a half finger of a bright white head plays the role of what I was kind of expecting this beer to look like. Let's get a nose. What is that smell? Oh, doesn't smell great. I'll just be honest with you. Definitely getting like the um, the the kefir lime leaves has definitely like has a citrus presence to this one, but it also has like this slight medicinal quality. Some of the macadamia nuts are in there too. I, this is gonna listen. When you come to the Beer Patrol, you expect nothing but nonsense, because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about in the least. This smells like... I don't know if I should say it, because you guys are going to be like, you're an idiot. I'm already an idiot. It smells like french fries. I don't know. This palate is destroyed. Actually, this is only the second beer I'm reviewing today, but I don't know. Yeah, it smells like slightly burnt french fries. I'm not getting much out of this. Out of, like, burnt french fries, a little bit of that macadamia nut. Kefir lime leaf, that's pretty much it. No toasted coconut, no pineapple, none of that stuff. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Holy shit. That, well, I don't know what just happened. No idea. Not even in a little, not even in the slightest do I know what's happening. This is the most ridiculous beer when it comes to the aroma in terms of the taste. It did a complete 180. I'm smelling basically burned french fries. That's that's what I'm smelling the nose. A little bit of that macadamia nut, a little bit of that lime, but it's like, like or not even french fries, just like a, like a burnt potato of some sort. I know, it sounds fucking stupid, because it is. But then you taste this, totally tropical crumble slash crisp, no doubt. This is super sweet. There is tons of toasted coconut, which I love. There's a lot of vanilla as well from the Madagascar vanilla beans and the lactose itself. Get a little bit of like a pineapple, a tropical fruit character. The graham crackers on the back end. This is kind of reminding me more of like a coconut cream pie with like maybe chopped, uh, you know, chopped up or ground down macadamia nuts on top. That's kind of what I'm getting from this is not, not as much as like a tropical crumble or a crisp, more of just like uh, coconut cream pie. But as far as the coconut cream pie goes, maybe like you're using graham cracker for the base um, crust. Body at 7.4%, this is like medium body. So maybe an ever, so, uh, ever so touch thin, but still pretty delicious as far as the body is concerned. Like it's, it's not distracting. The mouthfeel, because of all that vanilla and lactose, I'm sure they're using oats and whatnot here. It definitely has, uh, you know, it, I wouldn't say it's up to the standard that I have personally for another half mouthfeel, but it's close. It's it's soft. It's smooth. It's relatively creamy. Here's where I'm both loving this beer and not so much. 
This is actually pretty delicious, but the problem for me is you're calling it a sour IPA. I think they said they are, um, they dry hop this one with galaxy hops. I'm not getting a lot of IPA characteristics and I'm not getting a big sourness. It's tart at best. This is like a, a full on sweet fruit beer this is what I would call this as opposed to a sour IPA. No sour characteristics really. Like I said, mild, mild tartness and really no hop forward characteristics. This finishes sweet through the palate. It finishes sweet. There's no dryness. Um, and like I said, just a slight tartness with like a ever so, ever so slight touch of like an a, a acidic tone to the back of the palate. This is what I'll say about this one. I really dig it because I love toasted coconut and I like most of these adjuncts and I can taste the vast majority of them. The problem is it's a sour IPA and uh, it's not drinking whatsoever. Now, I always tell you guys I <clears throat> rate to personal preference. I really do like this one a lot. If this had sour IPA characteristics, this would be close to a five. As is, though, I'm going to give the Tropical uh, tropical Crumble from Other Half and Finback a 4.25 out of five. Actually, I'd give it more like a 4.1, you know, 4.1, 4.15. I think this is good. I'm really enjoying it, but I want some sour IPA characteristics. I couldn't tell you, if I was doing this blind, no idea this is a sour IP. I couldn't tell you there's any hop forward characteristics at all. Can't really taste the 7.4%, which is a plus. But overall, I dig it. You got to like sweet beers, I think. And you got to like a lot of these characteristics, especially toasted coconut and graham cracker and vanilla, because that's pretty much what I'm getting in this one. Anyway, Tropical Crumble from Other Half and Finback. Um, we'll just go 4.25. I'll round up out of five. If you guys have had this one, let me know what you think. Appreciate you guys stopping by for another beer review. Until the next one, cheers.